Okay, so here we are in the After Effects. As you can see, I've imported the main video clip. To use it, drag it into this new composition button to make a new composition. Now, if I click and drag this timeline indicator, you will notice that the main base video clip was simply done using a green color t-shirt. Yep, I used the same green screen effect of Adobe After Effects. The green screen effect is very famous among all video editing softwares. I used simply use the green screen effect. Now this this tutorial, this VFX has three main rules. First rule, the cape or any the t shirt must be at blue or green. Rule number two the color that you choose for the cape, for example here the cape is green, that color must not be in the background. Make sure that the color must not be in the background. You are seeing that I am using a green color t-shirt but in the background there is no color so I am safe. And number three rule you must have at least one frame where the background only the background is available so that when we key out the green color yep in this tutorial we have to just pick out the green color of the t-shirt this will leave and transparent background so to remove the transparent background we must keep at least one frame which is like this so grab your time indicator to the exact position where there is the background frame after that select the video file and press ctrl plus D to duplicate it at the bottom file right click it and rename it to background once done you can rename the above file to base. So now our footage is perfectly safe to be keyed out. First of all I will go to the exact position, a bit of a comfortable position where the keying must be done very accurately and then go to the effects and presets panel and search for the key light effect of Adobe After Effects. Click it and drag it to the base layer and then I'll just make the effects control look a bit big and this a little bit small and now let's work with the key light effect first of all select the uh, screen contour color picker and pick the strict green color once done that once done that you will notice that oh no nothing has yet happen this is because the base layer the thing that is to happen has happened you can see that the shirt is black but we haven't we haven't still set the background yet so just turn on the visibility of the base layer go to that freeze the frame that needs to be freezed and right click the background good time and freeze frame now that we have freezed the frame now if you scrub through your footage you will notice that your cape effect is finished with a lovely bit of a transparent effect now just wet the cape just put it on your shoulder and just do anything you like if you need more refinements to do just go to the view set the view to screen matte and then work with the screen matte tab get the key clip black to as much as black that that cape or the t-shirt must be the rules in key light is the more black the screen is the area is that much transparent the more white the area is the area is that opaque <coughs> so in this tutorial we need the t-shirt or the cape only the cape to be solid black so by tweaking the clip back and the clip white properties just may ensure that your t-shirt is fully black and in the clip white make sure that full of your video is white now our t-shirt is fully black that means it's transparent and our other things are totally white that means it's okay it's opaque now go to the view and then go to final result now if you simply scrub to the footage you will notice that you are totally transparent and you are moving around.
Thank you.